Good morning, everybody. I'm going to flip this around so you uh, later on on YouTube can see exactly what I what I sold. And you can see the labels because that's so important. So welcome in. Welcome to Studio C. I have so many studios. Just playing around. Um, but no, this is my packing station right here. Welcome in. We're going to be packing almost 30 items. I think actually 30 items, maybe to the T. So I've already got two packed that are... Um, buyer that were uh, live buyer sales. I know a lot of people are like, why aren't you live right now? It's 9 a.m. I'm not live because I'm packing. I got to pack. So we are packing stuff right now to ship because I'm going out of town for the weekend. Good morning, Barbara. Going out of town for the weekend, but I got to take a ton of pictures today because I list in the car. So I'll be able to list lots and lots and lots of pictures. So good morning, everybody. Um, this sold a couple days ago, actually. I was just waiting for my eBay boxes to come in because I had that coupon. So I was waiting for those boxes to come in. So this doesn't count as a sale that I got in the past like day or so. So we're shipping 30 orders out. Um, as you know, I don't, I don't feel the summer slowdown like most people because I sell seasonally. So almost everything you're gonna see is gonna be a seasonal buyer. Hey, thanks, K-Way Shop. What are you doing up so early? 9 a.m. Um, we are packing 30 items right now. We're doing a good old, um, hard goods packing the old days, hard good packing. So that's that golf bag. It sold for like $55. I think I paid $6 for it. Again, I was just waiting for these eBay boxes to come in. That was my only sale. That was from a few days ago. Everything else was sooner. So I just woke up. There you go. There you go. Kayla and I were watching you live last night while we were chilling, laying down. I saw her creeping on you. All right, so what I'm going to do with that golf bag is I uh, am doubling the boxes. So what I'll do, I'll push this one all the way down. I'll tape it up. I'll show you what I do. Uh, we be posting the thrifting lives from this week and on YouTube. Yes. So um, I have a really good thrifting live that I want to post, and I'll post it this week. I'll post it. I could post it today. To be honest, the reason is I'm having trouble with my YouTube and Google trying to get them hooked up together. Um, so I wanted to wait to post some of that stuff. Um, but anyways, there's that. So that golf bag fit perfectly in there. Not shaking at all. Um, I did put it inside of a bag. So, uh, Buried, thanks for coming in. Appreciate your service. Every time I see you, I'm going to say appreciate your service. As you guys know, I love my three-inch tape for reasons like this. So don't have to do a ton, ton of taping because this stuff is legit. So team three inch tape over here and cut. All right. Uh, is that free shipping? No. So I charge people shipping. So there it is all taped up. Going to put the label on it. Um, like I said, we're shipping out 30 orders. I actually packed up two. They were people that, uh, things I wouldn't normally pick up at the thrift store, but they were like, I want that. One of them's a Stranger Things sweatshirt, another one's a, an older soccer jersey. So, picked them up while we were thrifting, and they bought them. And then this is going out the door. Two. So, everything else now is the last, like, 36 hours. So, 36 hours. Um, what's up, Amy D? How you doing? Sorry I'm not thrifting for you guys this morning. I know it's a letdown. But I got work to do. I got to pack stuff. I got to take a ton of pictures. And I want to shoot a couple haul videos from yesterday that I promised that I put on YouTube. Because I have a lot of stuff. I'm going to do them seasonal. So I'm going to do like, hey, first gift. Thanks, Cajun. I'm going to put a couple haul videos. One's going to be like spring and summer. The other one's going to be like fall and winter. So unfortunately, we we sold Little Homie. So the wifey said, Little Homie's got to go. So I sold Little Homie. He's going to go priority and just one of these eBay poly mailers. So I love the three inch too. Buried, you know your packing stuff. It's either three inch or nothing. That's what she said. But yeah, three inch tape. I do uh, I do one of these uh, three inch guns. Usually it's not that ugly when I get rid of it. But yeah, three inch gun. It's the best. It's super cheap. The tape's super cheap on, on Amazon. I have a link in my bio if you guys are interested. So thanks, guys. Again, sorry I did not uh, did not go live thrifting this morning. 
So little homie didn't bring in what I wanted him to. He brought in 13 bucks. I think I paid a couple dollars for him, but he sold for $13. It is what it is. He's got a new home. Uh, making sure he's going to the right buyer. As you guys know, I pick up out my inventory. I print my shit labels out. I have everything ready to go in order. Um, it's just streamlined. I have the most unorthodox uh, process of how I store stuff. Hey, thank you. Uh, unorthodox process of how I store things, but it works so well and it's so efficient for me. So it's so efficient for me. Um, it's it's not the usual. It might look crazy to people, but I know where everything is and I can pull stuff into Jiffy. So, God, I sound so old, like quick. I can pull stuff quick. Uh, Nike with those stretch band. You're going to see the theme. Everything here are shorts and polos. I don't think I sold one thing long sleeve. I don't think. So, here are some Nike shorts, uh, size 30. They have that stretch band. Again, these are serfs. I can list them in under two minutes. Um, $18.88, regular price, out the door. Uh, do you thrift on the weekends? So, no, I usually don't thrift on the weekends, ever. Um, very rarely. Maybe if like I'm out doing something, and I'm like, oh, there's a thrift store right there, I'll thrift, but normally I don't. I might hit up a thrift store on our way we're going two hours north again, uh, where that storage unit is. My family has a lake cottage there. And on the way there, there's a, a thrift store. So I might hit it, I might not. We'll see. But no, the answer is no. Uh, you should make a YouTube video on the whole process, start to finish. Uh, I think I have one with some shoes. I have some with, I bought some shoes, sold them, packed them, threw the label on them, sent them to the post office. Uh, they were some Nikes. So. But here uh, are some, all right, even the pictures. Lululemon blue shorts, men's. They sold for $33.33. That's the actual price I put on it. So that's the full asking price. $33.33. Morning, Casey. How you doing? So packing up 30 items. 30 items. All spring and summer. All spring and summer stuff. Except for one long sleeve, but it's a white, I think. So that's going again. That was 3333. Um, okay, cool. Look, yeah, it's it. It's not a YouTube. It's a TikTok. It's a TikTok video. Um, so super quick. These are new with tags with the pleated, just pull Ralph Lauren with that hit right there. Um, if you had that hit right there as value, the, the logo, even though they're pleated, they're outdated. They sell, they sold for $27 plus buyer pay shipping. So 33 cents, right? Um, genuinely curious why 33 cents? Literally because I'm in my phone and I'm like, 33, 33 sounds good. Let's just put it on there. 33, 33. I don't know. But someone's going to scroll through it instead of like 99, they're going to say at 33. And it's going to catch their attention. I mean, in my mind, that's just how I, I don't know. Sometimes I do that. Those sold for 26.99, so I didn't do it with those. Uh, this next item is a bolo. It sold for $26.99 as well. I price everything according to sold comps. So like these, I had to look up because I don't sell these or find these very often. I looked up sold comps and I sold them um, very competitively compared to sold comps. So this is a Buck Mason pair of shorts. Just a simple pair of shorts. Again, $27 plus buyer pay shipping. Thanks for answering, of course. How many items... Do you have listed 1340 ish? But again, I'm going to take a lot of pictures today. I'm going to have four hours there and back to list this weekend. But I'm, I'm selling stuff. So the pro it's not a problem, but I have 1300, let's just say 1350 items that I have listed. I'm packing 30 items right now. That means I have to relist another 30 items to keep that 1350. So it's, it's getting tough for me to raise it. As long as I can keep writing that 1350, as long as I can list 70 to 100 items a week, I'm fine. I packed two items this morning, was so happy. Just started selling on eBay. That's awesome. Yeah, I always tell people don't compare. Like, I sold 30. Well, I have 1,300 items in my store. You know, if you have 100 items in your store and you sold a couple, I'd be super happy with that. That's 2% in one day. That's, that's actually really good um, in this business. So, those are going. Um, has anyone ever complained about the Goodwill smell um, on their purchase? No. 
Uh, my pro the stuff I get from Goodwill, I will give credit to them. They do a good job of putting out stuff that doesn't smell bad. So again, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it in the shorts and 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 shirt seam. So as you know, I sell these all the time. Uh, match play shorts. These happen to be new with tags. I sold them for thirty two twenty nine, along with this pair of match play shorts to the same person for twenty one eleven. Hashtag auto posture. So these both sold via auto posture because they don't price things at twenty nine or twenty one eleven. So these are going. Hey, thanks for the heart. These are going out to the same person. Big E, thank you. Same person going out padded flat rate. By the way, guys, uh, first class is going away uh, Sunday. So just so you know on your listings, you might want to update those or whatever. Um, making Shelby drive, I sure am. So now with what I do, make Shelby drive. I used to always drive, but now she drives. It's a s smooth sail trip, and I list from my phone. So again... I don't know the total cost, so thirty-two twenty-nine plus twenty-one eleven, so right around fifty dollars for those two pairs of shorts. Um, here's something I knew would sell quick. How do you find everything when someone sell, or how do I find everything when someone sells? Must have a crazy system. So I do. My system is not like anyone anyone out there that I know about. Everyone has the A to Z, one two three four five system in their bins. Super organized system, especially if you're going to scale and, and, and hire people. They know where everything is. I have, I think, 70 or 80 bins in my basement. So behind me, over there, in the other room. So what I do is I put items in like bins. So for example, these are all solid polos that are Nike, right? And then right here, these are all solid or these are all Nike polos that are stripes. So if I sell a red one, I know exactly what it looks like because all my bins are clear. So when I what I do is I take my pictures, I bring down all my listings down here and put it in whatever bin they go in. I have very, very categorized um, bins, as you can see, solid Nikes. I have the same with Under Armour, solid and stripes. Uh, uh, Ralph Lauren, solid and stripes, everything. So I put it in those individual bins and then when stuff sells, I know exactly where those bins are and I pick up those items. So if a green item sells out of that out of that bin, it's super easy to see, I pick it out. I It's unorthodox, but it saves me time. I don't have to put it in a separate bag um, and I don't have to categorize it and put it in my listing as a categorize. It saves me time and it works really well for me. It's super streamlined. So I have an issue with buyers always sending offers and unable to sell what comps are at. How do you deal? So I have an issue with buyers always sending offers and unable to sell what comps are at. You can just not do best offers on that item. They don't have to deal with people sending you offers. There, people just want to get good deals. They like to lowball. It's just part of it. Um, you can actually put an automatic decline on that too. So if you want it on your computer or even on your phone, I do it for my phone. If you say list something for 50 best offers, you can put an automatic decline at $42 and under. So if they offer $40, they automatically get declined. So you can set that up. Uh, you can do that right from your phone. So sold a pair of these Birkenstock like clog, almost dance co like nurse shoes. It sold for $34.99. Um, so my, my average price this week or these last couple days was not bad. Actually, it's a day and a half. So I shipped not yesterday, but the night before. So these are sales from um, two nights ago, I guess yesterday and this morning and last night. So these are Dansco, or uh, not Dansco, but Birkenstocks. They actually said Berkey's on them, but I could tell they were Birkenstocks with that on the bottom. Uh, I, I paid probably, I think, $6.99 for those. They sold for $35. Um, how many hours a week do you work doing this? Do I work? That's the thing, man, uh, or girl or dude or whatever i i'm gonna put these in a bag um and then in this box so i work a lot but i love what i do i'm my own boss i truly enjoy thrifting i truly enjoy talking to people i truly enjoy clothing and learning new brands i like what i do so yeah i work a ton of hours but i can also take whatever time i want off if we all of a sudden we want to go on some random trip. Guess what? I can take that time off and go. 
while I'm making money on my store. So uh, that's what I do. Do I price a little higher not knowing Auto Posture will send a discount? No, I don't. Um, I only do 5% off on Auto Posture. So I was doing 10, but that was too much for me. Um, I only do 5% off. Thanks for all the hearts. Thanks for everything. I only do 5% off on Auto Posture. So when they send out automatic offers, it's only 5%. So uh, I price stuff at my normal, what I would price things at, and I usually don't do best offers anymore. Um, I, I mean, I don't do promote. I don't do any promoted listings on any of my items anymore. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't do that, yeah. Definitely don't do that. Because when Autoposha relists, delist your items, it doesn't automatically do uh, um, best offer, or not best offer, but um, Shoot, uh, promoted listings unless you have that set up, and I don't have that set up, and I don't, I don't think I'm going to. So those are going out. These again, free from the postal service. It's going priority. Use free, guys. Be cheap. Um, I enjoy so much to see you and listen to you from Denmark. Hey, hey, from Denmark. Good to see you. So I coach a soccer team, and one of our players is from Denmark. And he is extremely good. And the coach, a uh, coach that coaches with me, uh, is very knowledgeable. And he he just doesn't understand that here, like kids will play basketball and everything. And in Denmark, he's like, all they play is soccer outside at recess. So this is a Messin and Main um, short sleeve. Again, it's got that stretchy material. This sold for twenty two ninety nine, which is what I priced it at. Now, not a posture sale, twenty two ninety nine. So my sales are actually coming in more hot, higher than I thought. I haven't really looked. But um, so we've had some 30, over $30 sales and over $20 sales quite a bit with this load. And again, I have buyer pays shipping for everything. So when I say $22.99, the buyer pays shipping on top of that. Um, what is out of, uh, how do you get free from the post office? So I have a video on that on my YouTube channel. And it's just called, uh, if you go, you can follow me on YouTube and I have a video on uh, mailing for beginners. It's only four minutes long and it tells you exactly how to order stuff. You can order it free, sent right to your house. Super easy to do. Extremely easy. So Auto Posher, making sure it goes to the right person. His name's Brad too. Auto Posher is a service that I pay for. It's $35 a month. And what it does automatically while I sleep, it does both these things. Number one, it, if your items on here after 31 days, you do like relist it after 31 days. It pushes it down in the algorithm because it keeps the same item ID. What Auto Posture does is right before it ends, it completely takes it off and lists it. And eBay thinks it's a brand new item and it pushes it up in the algorithms. And so what you'll see is a lot of your old inventory selling. So that's one thing it does. So it lists and relists, it, de it, it delists and relists. Number two, it sends automatic offers if you want. All you have to do is hit a toggle, determine how much uh, percentage you want to send off, and then you can write a note with that to somebody. So if someone watches your item, they can they will automatically receive that. You don't have to send it to them and spend time sending that to them. I have 1,300 items in my store. Usually, I used to have 1,000 offers I could send out. Auto Posture does that instantly. It gets me a lot of sales. So pay attention. I'll tell you if I have an Auto Posture sale. I don't know what I'm doing right now with these shorts. I'm just talking to you. Um, favorite jersey from your collection? Reggie Miller fan? Yeah. Reggie's my favorite player of all time, so it's going to be Reggie. But I do, I really, I really, really, really was an Iverson fan growing up. Um, I just loved his moves and everything. I wore his shoes, so was an Iverson fan. Again, you're going to see, this is the third pair that I've sold of these Under Armour match play shorts. So again... Twenty three thirty three, my special little price. Sometimes I do twenty twenty three ninety nine or whatever, but twenty three thirty three. Uh, again, I sell these all the time. Every single video I do, I think in the summer I have these on there, so I pick them up. Um, do you list international? Yeah, so I list eBay international. It's super easy. You just click a button, and you don't even know it's going to international. They make it so streamlined now. The only way you know if it's international is when you look at the shipping label, and it has that little place that you send it. It's a really weird address. That's the only way you know it's shipping internationally. You don't have to do any extra work. So those sold for $23.33. I think we're about halfway through the 30 items sold. Um, Tess. So it's going to Tess. Um, yesterday's sales were slow. Uh, how did you do? 
again, don't compare yourself with others. Um, so yesterday I sold, uh, what's yesterday? So I sold um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Yeah, seven yesterday. So yesterday was so slow. Today so far, far. Today, one, two, three, four, five, six, six items today. Seven yesterday, six, and it's eight a.m., nine a.m. in the morning. Let's go to the next sale. Uh, all right. Here's a brand that you guys usually know. Um, let me get back to everything. So good morning to everyone. Good morning. Comparison, yeah, comparison is the thief of joy. Do not compare your others. If anything, look at other people and aspire to be them. Not me. No, but like to me, I look at, at like whatever people, like geniuses like Elon Musk. I don't care political stuff, but just like the stuff he does or people, other people out there who sell on eBay and Streamline, like, a lot of stuff I do is unorthodox. I sell everything from my phone. I list everything from my phone. I don't take pictures with, with the light that's on me now. Um, I have a really weird process, but it's so fast and streamlined and it's against the grain, but I do everything so quickly. It's just me. I can list a ton a day. I can sell a ton a day. It's unorthodox. So don't be, yeah, don't compare yourself to other people. AG shorts. So I know you don't see these very often. So these are AG shorts, sold them for $19.99, uh, full asking price. This would be an auto posture sale because I've had these listed since last season, last season. If I sign up for auto posture, does it sync with things I already have posted on eBay? Yes. So if you're interested in auto posture, I'm telling you right now, if, I would do it if you have over a hundred items. It's eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. You're paying one price for all three. I just do eBay and it's worth it for me by like a hundredfold. So I have a I have a link in my link tree. Click on the link, you'll get five dollars off if you use Surf's Up Finds. Um, so you get five dollars off your first month. Give it that first month, let it delist and relist that whole month, and you'll see your sales go crazy. Especially if you do your your offer to automatic offer, sending offers, uh, it will do really well. Um, and. It's, I, I can't have enough good things to say. If you watch these videos of mine often, which I'll post this on YouTube later, you're going to see that uh, so many of my sales come from auto posture. Again, I'm shipping those out the door. Good morning. Do you use pirate ship uh, or just eBay? So I sold, why do people always want to battle? I don't do that. Um, we're educational purposes only on here. So what I do uh, is do everything calculated shipping through eBay. Cause I only do eBay. I ha I'm packing up 30 items. Um, it's just me. So I'd have to hire someone if I want to cross list and do all other stuff. Um, but I just do eBay. I ship through eBay. I ship through calculated shipping on eBay and I have buyer pay shipping. Now, if I been, sell something like I sold two things, um, while I was, while I was uh, live thrifting, a couple of people wanted some things that I wouldn't normally pick up. So I just said, Hey, I'll charge you whatever shipped. I use pirate ship. So I use pirate ship for everything off of eBay. Pirate ship is I think everyone in the resale world would agree that it's probably the best. Um, sometimes they even get better prices on pirate ship than eBay. Don't ever go to the postal service and pay full price uh, at the counter. You're gonna pay like $2 more. Do you think it's better to price a few dollars up and do free shipping or uh, buy or pay shipping? It's tomatoes, tomatoes. I know a lot of you in here follow K-Way um, and K-Way does free shipping on a lot of his items on almost all of his items. So what he does is he has that free shipping and he prices his stuff here. And I press my stuff, I price my stuff down here and people have to pay to shipping. So it really evens out. The advantage for him is someone might click on the tab free shipping. So it closes out all my stuff. The advantage for me is someone might categorize things that are lowest to highest and my stuff will pop up before his. So it's tomatoes, tomatoes, Whatever works for you. If you're just starting out, anyone would probably tell you to do um, to, to do uh, calculated shipping through eBay. That's what I would recommend. These are some Solomon Women's Gore-Tex. That means they're waterproof. So, like, you can see on the inside, they have this, like, rain material. Sorry, it's mirrored. Like, uh, that material that's gray, that's waterproof. Really good condition. These sold for 
$35, $34.99 plus buyer pay shipping. I can tell you how much I paid for them, uh, $9.99. So I paid $9.99 for those and sold them for $34.99. Do you get a lot of returns via eBay International? I'm scared to do it because of scams. No, nope, don't get any returns. So with eBay International, this is what happens when I've had any issues. It's very rarely what happens is eBay will let that person keep their item or give them back their money and they'll let me keep my money. So everyone's happy. eBay lets them have theirs, mine have mine, and there's no return. I've never had a return with the new international shipping program on eBay. So, but I only sell clothing and shoes. If you sell electronics overseas, that might be different. There might be a little scamming like, oh, this didn't work and they want parts out of it or whatever. So that might be different. There's that going out the door. And if you're just coming in, we're shipping 30 items. 30 items, go, go juice, hashtag monster. Which eBay store do I have? I actually just checked that the other day for the first time in years. It's a $59.99 a month store, whatever store that is, but I buy it yearly. So I think I get like a month or two free or something, some type of discount, but it's the one that's $59.99 a month. So here is a Lululemon. Um, this is just their like t-shirts lines, which are really super cozy. If you're a dude, look into these, they're really cozy. Um, there was no tag on it. I found the tag down here or the uh, symbol down there. And this actually, these don't sell as much. I'm telling everyone right now, Lulu's not bringing what it used to bring. It's still a good brand. It sold for $20. Sold it for $20 because that's what the comps were and I wanted to sell it quick. How do you get uh, your health insurance? Through my wifey who's still a teacher. So everyone I know almost have left teaching. My sister's left, her husband's left, so many of my friends have left really good teachers. I left, but my wife still teaches. So uh, I get insurance through her. I'm lucky I get that. Um, so don't use flat rate like I do for Posh. No, Poshmark's different. Poshmark, I think, gives you an automatic priority. Um, so you can use any priority thing you want with, with Poshmark. I'm almost positive. I don't sell on Poshmark, but I watch K-Way enough that with Poshmark, you can ship on any priority envelope, any priority you want. Um, so with eBay, it's completely different. You put in the dimensions, you put in the weight, and you ship it that way, and it's calculated. It automatically calculates it. You don't. So I live in Indiana. Someone from Florida buys something for me, it automatically calculates it and sends them the invoice. They pay me, and if it's first class, it's going in this. So let's talk. That last one was first class. Let's talk about the next one. Here's a set of figs someone bought. So a set of figs, I'll show you. With figs, you are looking for this on the back pocket. So looking for that on the back pocket. Figs, it's women's set. This is the very most basic color with no uh, jogger at the bottom. And also, it does not have any cargo pockets. So this is a very basic set. It sold for $37.76, auto posture sale. So thirty-seven seventy-six auto posture sale. Um, is Travis Matthew good for you? I still sell it. I actually just listed this one yesterday. I just listed this one yesterday. I know that because I have a little stack of here stuff I need to put away. But just sold this one yesterday or listed this one yesterday. See, it has these cool cool prints. So this will do well. Travis Matthew has fallen off quite a bit for me. So usually I don't get more than twenty plus shipping for Travis Matthew unless it's something special like that print or a bigger size. So again, $37.76. I know that because they don't price anything at that price. So they, someone took that 5% auto posture sale while I was sleeping. Uh, let's see, next item, in question. Um, have you had an item sent uh, authenticated to eBay? Yes, so I have sold watches before. I don't sell shoes, but I've sold watches. And with watches, it goes to their um, high-end watches. It goes to their authenticator, and then it goes to the person. So I think last summer, it's the last time I sold a watch was last summer, um, but not since. So out of all the 30 items I'm shipping today, this is the only long sleeve item I'm shipping and it's white. So a white new with tags, Polo Ralph Lauren, bought it for $4.99 and it sold for $31.24, hashtag auto posture. Uh, best men's shirt sizes, the bigger the better. 
So the most common are medium, large, um, extra large, but you start finding 2X, that sells a little bit better, but the price really goes up from 2X. Once you start getting into 3X, 4s, the price starts going up quite a bit because it costs more to make those, it costs more to sell those, um, so it costs more to buy those. What's up, Central Illinois? Um, again, that's my only long sleeve sold for $31.24, uh, and that's out the door. If you're just joining, we're not live thrifting. We're shipping 30 items uh, this morning because I need to take a ton of pictures. I need to take a, a thrift haul videos, two of them, because we're going out of town. And I'm going to take pictures on my phone, and I'm going to list from my phone while I'm driving. That's why I do that. Super efficient. Uh, I miss you on Instagram in regarding uh, me to the uh, Gucci shirt. I messed you. Sorry. I messaged you on Instagram re regarding the, the Gucci shirt. Okay. Gotcha. I'll read that. Um, I haven't looked at my Instagram lately. So I don't usually get Hugo Boss unless it's a polyester type of blend like this. It's a green label, modern fit. So men's Hugo Boss, the size is always under the tag, modern fit with the zip and it has a hit on the back. So this had some things going for it. Hugo Boss, I usually don't pick up. This sold within like two days. It sold actually last night during live if you're watching. Remember I said, Hugo Boss, that's weird. They don't sell well. $24.88 is what that sold for. Um, do you thrift out of town? Yeah, I do. I thrift out of town. If I find a thrift store and I have time and it makes sense, I'll thrift for sure. Um, but if if I don't have time or whatever, we're doing family stuff, I won't. Uh, but yeah, of course, I love thrifting. It's, it's a love. It's a passion. Me and, me and thrifting love each other. So sit in that 25 bucks. Uh, next item, there are three. Let me answer. Central, so, uh, so nice hanging out with you the other night. Don't be scared. You were great. Oh, there you go, Central. I'm glad you guys are talking. Um, there are a couple other questions I want to make sure. Hey, thanks, Tropical Flipper. Um, all right, if you have any questions, if you're a moderator, just pin it. So here again, the common theme, golf. Like literally the past week and a half, it's been golf. Someone bought three pairs of golf shorts for me. I combined shipping for them. So we have an Under Armour pair where I just talked about these. They are uh, Notre Dame. And check this out. These are actually pants. 34 times 32. Someone had them cut and hemmed. Maybe the school did it because I have another pair. I've never seen those. So I think those are university like issued and a pair of Adidas and a pair of Under Armour. So sold all three of them to the same person. Um, and then I refunded the difference in shipping. All three sold for $53.86. So I have less than $15 in all three of these. They sold for $15.86 plus the buyer pays shipping. My first great find, Andy Rodak Lacoste 4XL. Oh, Andy Riddick. Uh, I think Riddick, Riddick, yeah, that tennis player. Uh, 4XL, yes, I'm excited to get sales. Yeah, 4XL, the Andy, uh, the Lacoste, yes. So that's a polyester blend, right? Or nylon polyester spandex blend. I love Lacoste and those tennis polos. Those do really well. Those are for sure pickup. Again, I have my thermal printer. I want to make sure it goes to the right buyer. Um, it is Joshua. Joshua in Texas ordered three pairs of shorts. So thank you, Joshua. Um, should I sell the Colt shirt or return it to Kayway? <laughs> Scott, he's probably watching this. He's, he snuck in earlier. Um, I think you should return to sender, man. I'll pay you. I'll pay you. I'll pay the money to do it. Return to sender. I bought, I'm never going to talk about it. I have so much to send him. I need to make more money. So I have enough posts to send him stuff. So it's just going to be like, a weekly joke, just everything. I'm just going to add on to his whatnot show. So when he does his free giveaways, I'll hopefully buy the Colt stuff and get a free pair of shoes or a Kooji or something out of it. And he'll be so mad at me. But anyways, these are Polo Ralph Lauren. Um, these sold really quick. I knew they would. I never found these. They're unique. They're carpenter shorts um, with these rivets on the back. So those are called rivets. I know most of you guys know that, but there's always new eyes. Um, these are carpenter shorts. Whoops. Other side. So you see right there, Carpenter Shorts. They sold for $22.22. That's my price. Uh, and let me see. What are they going out? First class? Yeah, first class to 
Nicholas. Yep, to Nicholas. I have 200 listings and sold 11 yesterday. Thanks to, for your knowledge. Oh, I appreciate it. You know what? No. If you have, if you sold 11 things yesterday and you have 200 listing, that means you are pricing your items right and you know what to pick up. That's all on you. That's all on you, 100%. So congratulations with that. That's really good. 11 items in, in 200, geez, that's 5% sell-through rate on, on a day. Super good. Or 5% sold of your day. During football season, you should give him team shirts of the teams that beat the Titans. Ho, 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 ho. Yes, I should. He's going to be like, it's okay. No one's going to beat the Titans. Okay. We'll see. That is perfect. I love that. Becca, amazing. I love that. So here's an Oakley polo. It sold. I picked these up still for 5 bucks, four ninety nine. 99 Sold for eighteen eighty eight. Again, surfs up on these. Almost every item that I've listed, other, those polo shorts aren't, those took me probably five minutes to list. Almost all these items take me less than two minutes to list because I've sold them so often. Um, um, he hasn't rushed it up. Uh, buy all those shorts. Yeah, I know. I know. All right, let's see. All the, sh all the shirts that beat the Texans or the Titans. I know. It's a lot of them. And I have to find them locally, right? Which I do. I find all the teams. I find so many teams locally. Um, so that's sold to Samuel. So we're down to our last item. Look how fast that was. So I have a whole pack, 30 items, ready to go to the post office today on a Friday. So it could be out the door before the weekend. So if anyone buys anything today, it would ship out Monday. Remember, shipping rates change Sunday night. Remember, I learned from you and KOA just listening. You know what? That's how... Pretty sure he learned too. I learned by watching people and listening on YouTube in the background while I was, I literally would drive to work, 30 minute drive to work, and I would have my YouTube playing like on my, on my seat. I wouldn't watch it. I would just listen to what the people are picking up. There are only like two people out there at the time, and I would listen to it literally every day back and forth, and that's how I educated myself for a while. And then of course I did like the buy, and I messed up buying things and all that sort of stuff. But this, I just listed this yesterday, Surf's Up Method. Um, it actually sold for $15.19. So Auto Posture got in there and sold it for 5% less than my normal, but I still made about $10 profit on it. What if something was irregular and you didn't know? What if something was irregular and you didn't know? You mean like a, a factory flaw? I wouldn't know. A uh, buyer might get it and say, this does it, da, da, da. Sometimes I'll sell stuff to buyers and they'll be like, I have 10 pairs of these same shorts and they don't fit the exact and they're same size. Uh, I send them back. I say, I'm sorry. I put the measurements in there. Send it back. You got a full refund. Um, so that's that's how I worked that out. Matthew, going out to Matthew. So let's see. Uh, do, you sold, do sold items go into your drafts? Um, do sold items? Yes. So what I'll do, sniff, sniff, Justin, we're at home, man. It's got to smell good down here. So yes, what I'll do, for example, let's talk about it. Um, what I'll do, if I have a Polo Ralph Lauren that I have on my phone to list, what I'll do is hit one that I've just sold. I'll hit one that I just sold. I'll come down and hit sell similar. So it's pulling up, whoops, it's pulling up sell similar right now. And with Cell Similar, what I do is I remove the photos, I put in the new photos, I put in the size and color, I come down here, put in the size and color, come down here, list. That's all I do. So because the shipping is the same, the description by description is literally copy and pasted from my notes. So all my descriptions is the same policy. So when you go to my descriptions on my page on eBay, so here's my eBay page. You have your item specifics that you have to fill out, but those are all the same on a polo shirt other than the stripes or if it's solid or if it's uh, the colors. But I have so many listed, I'll just look for a polo striped or polo solid. So I don't even have to change that. And then I don't want to change the category. I don't have to change the description because it's already copied and pasted. I don't have to change the price. I don't have to change the shipping. All I do is come down and hit list. So I have a video on, on YouTube that I show you how I do that method. The video is three minutes long and I take pictures and list stuff, everything within that three minutes. Um, how much do I make a day? It just depends. It's all about week so or month or whatever. So right now, 
Um, right now, I've sold, so I'll just show you. Here's my last 90 days. I don't care, I'll show you my money. Um, so last 90 days, sold, active. This was this was always at zero, whoops. That was always at zero before auto posture. So my unsold was always at zero before auto posture, but since auto posture delist and relist, this number's huge, so don't pay attention to that. So that's how much I sold in the last 90 days. That's how many items I sold. That's how many items I have listed. So there are my numbers. I'm transparent. I don't make any of this stuff up. Um, I, there are a lot of YouTubers out there that put a lot of content out and have a lot of followers. And this is jibber jabber. I don't think they have a lot of stuff. So we need to change our shipping on every listing manually for first class to change. You can do it bulk in eBay. So you can do it. Uh, you can click the button and you can do like 200 items at a time and do it in a bulk. So dude, y'all give newbies advantage by sharing your knowledge. Yeah, that's what it's about. Sharing your knowledge, Amy. So yep, sharing your knowledge. And there you go. That's the first time I've shown my numbers. Whatever, I don't care. You guys should know it by now by the stuff I, I thrift. So uh, thanks, Amy. Appreciate it. Guys, I'm going to take a ton of pictures. Um, and then I'm going to also... Um, I'm gonna do two thrift haul videos that I'm gonna post on YouTube at some point, like this weekend maybe. Uh, but I'll, I'll post that thrift haul from this weekend or that live thrifting today. It was really awesome. I'll post that on YouTube. So if you don't follow me on YouTube, I put a lot of information over there. Um, I'm gonna do that. And then I have to ship all this stuff out. So I got a lot to do. Thanks for joining me. I'm sorry I didn't take you live thrifting, but today I had to get the work done. I appreciate you guys. Please explain calculated shipping versus regular shipping. I will. Let me answer that. And you have a Canadian flag and an American flag, so I'm not sure. Um, please explain calculated shipping, regular shipping. So calculated shipping in eBay, all you do is, let's just show you, right? So let's say we have a draft. So we had that Ralph po that Polo Ralph Lauren draft. We didn't put any pictures in it, right? So what we do is we come down here. Um, come down here to shipping and you need to put in your details. So just put in your details, 13 ounces, the length, the width, the height. I know it by heart for like everything right now because I've sold so many items at the same items that I know what to sell it for. You just click that and you click how you want to ship it. If it's under a pound, it has to go first class today. Next week it's different, but, or you can do priority like. I have padded flat rate. So see that padded applied? That's a padded flat rate. That's all I do. So that's what I have on that. I definitely need to delete that draft because I don't want to send that padded. So I deleted that draft. Uh, how much do you list polo by Roan? So um, it just depends the style. I actually just listed one the other day. The style is not great. Again, look up sold comps. I have a video on that. It's four minutes long. It's in the playlist. So let's look. So here's my YouTube channel. It looks like this. So thrift, resell, educate, surfs up finds. If you go to the playlists right over here, you're gonna see selling for beginners and tips for resellers. So playlist, there's one selling for beginners, tips for resellers, price to sell, shipping made easy. They're super quick videos. I would highly recommend you watching those. Um, one of them, I don't even know. They're super quick. I don't even know. Oh, here we go. Um, reselling for beginners. Pick the reselling for beginners. And here they are. Four minutes, nine minutes, three minutes. So that's what I would do. That This one shows you how to price your items. This one shows you how to ship your items. This one's the surf up method. Um, I'd watch those. Give them a watch for four minutes. Um, is that 40,000 net? Uh, that's No, that's 40,000 gross. So that's 40,000 gross. Um, so I have to take my cost of goods off of that and pay taxes on that and everything else. I use your description as a guide for mine. Why not? Why not? I mean, why reinvent the wheel? Like people really, newbies, I get it. You want to get that good feedback, but you don't have to think too much in, especially if the items are like a just regular polos or shorts. You don't need to think too much about it. 
my description is just basic. It's just like my return policy. It's a nice message. It's all that sort of stuff, the shipping, everything. You guys don't have to fill out all the item specifications. If you're spending too much time on one item, you're spending too much time on one item. Do you think auto posture is a game changer? 110%. So go back and watch this video on YouTube when I post it, you'll see 110%. So do you recommend auto posture for an eBay account with 150? Yes, anything over 100 listings, I would recommend doing auto posture. And you can control your offers. So you can control how much. You could do 2% to people, which they'd be like, what, 2%? You do 5%, you can do 10%. I started with 10%, it was too much for me. I was getting a lot of sales for a little bit less than I wanted. Change it to five. So, but I gotta go, yes, on auto posture. See, look, everyone in this chat, so many in the community use auto posture now, super good. Again, I have a code in my link. Get that $5 off, let it work a month. If you don't like it, get rid of it. Plus, it's a write-off at the end of the year. So I pay $30, $35 a month at the end of the year. I can write the whole thing off because it's part of my business. So remember that. On that note, see you guys later. Have a great weekend. I might come in live, I might not. Uh, I'm going to go take pictures. Peace.